you didn't vote for Portuguese Trump, aka Andre Ventura, I feel like I'm wasting my best years. It's okay for us to not have a purpose in life. Workout is done. I thought, why not dress up? But then again, what's, what's hard? You know what I mean? This is what quarantine does to you. Today is the day that I'm voting. And by the time you're watching this video, it's gonna be the main election day, so... I hope you voted. And I hope you didn't vote for Portuguese Trump, aka Andre Ventura, because if you did, you can just... just click off this video. You're clearly not the right audience. So, now that that's out of the way, Let's get ready, shall we? I would like to talk about the elections for a little bit because my roommate is coming home. I gotta be quiet. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that here in Portugal, we have, I think, seven or eight people that are running for president, which makes things a little bit harder because it's easy to know on which people you won't vote hope so, but knowing the person on whom you will vote is harder and since there are so many options you get a little bit oh. so my main goal is for that person you know who, I don't want that person to win so I think I'll vote strategically so how are you guys? tell me what have you been up to? Mm hmm Really? This is the only makeup I use. Like literally moisturizer and mascara and that's all. Here's the outfit. Feeling sassy, feeling funky, feeling empowered, which is the best you can be while voting. As you can see, I am home now. And it's been a couple of hours and when I mean a couple of hours, I don't mean I went there, voted, came home, laid on the couch and did nothing for two hours and then picked the camera up. I mean, it took me two and a half hours to vote. I was on the line for 2.5 hours. But it's done. You know, I was feeling kind of pissed, first of all. Pissed because... It was very, very poorly organized and there was a lot of people there and there's COVID and there's lockdown and there's COVID <laughs> and so I was like, I don't want to catch COVID, not not feeling it, not, not the vibe for today. But then I was like, I also don't want Ventura to win so I might as well stay here. I'm joking but I'm also not joking because this is very serious. <sighs> Anyway, he's not gonna win. I'm not manifesting his victory into the world, so he's not gonna win. Yeah, it was kind of hard. People there were stressing out because everyone was on the line for at least two hours and we are all very stressed, not only because of the elections, but also because of COVID and the number of cases here in Portugal, which is, but it's done. I did my job, I did my part. Now I'm just manifesting good things. I know he's not gonna win. He's not gonna win, he's gonna lose, and he's gonna cry with his little bunny, poor bunny. By the way, he's not gonna win, no way. Then I came home, I was starving, I came home and I did some lunch, I ate it, and now, I don't know, probably I just read a bit. <laughs>
Workout is done. I'm gonna shower. We're back, feeling fresh, feeling clean, and a little hungry, so I made some lunch. I got white rice and some whoop, seitan. Yeah, it's not the healthiest, but it's what my, what's in my body is craving, so. actually very very grateful for the view that my room and my house has I'm grateful for that today is a very gloomy day outside I just feel a little more sad um, weird weird times I'm about to turn 21 in March this year I just feel like life is slipping through my fingers I feel like I'm wasting my best years. This is supposed to be the best decade of your life. It's kind of hard. I know there's more important things happening in the world, but at the same time, a lot of people feel this way. And I think it's important to talk about it. What helps me is journaling, meditating, cooking, listening to podcasts, I don't know, talking to a camera, <laughs> making YouTube videos. Um, the main goal is to just feel present as much as I can. I don't know, man, it's, it's just, it is hard for everyone. And I think realizing that, that everyone is going through something and that we are all trying our best to survive and to feel okay, that's really important. Yeah, I'm just... I'm trying to be my best self so humanity can profit from it. I'm trying to grow as a person. I'm trying to grow spiritually. I'm trying to grow my career. I'm just vibing, man. <laughs> just vibing on high frequency. And even though I'm doing that, some days are a little bit difficult. And today, I think it's mainly because of the weather. I just realized that it's okay for us to not have a purpose in life. Maybe life is 
is just about living every second of it enjoying every moment being present as much as we can man this is why i love art this is why i love movies this is why i love life it's a hump day today i thought why not dress up um I have literally nowhere to go, nor should I leave my house because... But I thought I would just have fun and try a different outfit, see what I can come up with, with the things that I have. I'm trying to go for feminine, funky, and I think that's it, feminine and funky. I think I'm gonna start with bottoms because there's this pair of pants that I really like and I haven't yet found a way to feel cute in them um, maybe it's because they are a little bit baggy yeah the pants that I got are these ones and they are uh, velvet I don't know it's cute but I feel like with these pants it becomes very vintagey for what I'm looking for right now because I'm not trying to look like a librarian from the 70s so no this is a no <laughs> This is what I got so far. Are we going for the clips or the hoops? Ah, it's Charlie! That really hurt! Ah. Okay, so honestly, I think the necklace is a little too much. I think I'll go with these bad boys. This is what we're vibing with. <laughs> So can we talk about fast-paced culture? Sometimes I, I feel like I shouldn't do these types of videos because they are very chill. I feel like they don't have a lot of artistic value. But then again, what's, what's art? You know what I mean? Just as Kandinsky said once, art becomes art the minute the artist has, has an intention and puts it out there. We just all gotta do, I just completely did bullshit here. All we gotta do is just create what's in our minds and hearts and just stop being so afraid of what people are gonna say about it. Because I have that fear, but then again, I find myself on YouTube watching other people's videos that are very, very, very simple, almost zero editing and Especially during these times, I feel like those types of videos are very relaxing and soothing and easy to watch. You know what I mean? It's like life is already so fast-paced, so go, 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 so in your face, flashy things happening every time and everywhere. But I feel like sometimes we need to chill, just slow down and I don't know, just take it easy. I should probably put moisturizer in my hands after doing my hair because I'm not trying to look like a librarian from the 70s. I'm making some dessert! Some cinnamon muffins, oh my god, look at them! Aha! I'm so happy!
body is not ready for alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. This is what quarantine does to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.